Well, here we are. All the coffee shops are closed. You're stuck at home drinking K-Cups. I'm getting a little tired of that taste. Listen, I got you. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, this channel is all about getting you the tools you need to make good coffee at home. We're in quarantine right now and so we want to make sure we're giving you everything you need to make a good cup of joe. Another thing. There's a thumbs up down there. You see the thumbs up, you see the thumbs down. Stay away from the thumbs down. You need to hit the thumbs up. Give me a like on this real quick and then subscribe. That way, every time that I release a video, you'll know and that way you can keep up to date on all the things coffee that I'm sharing with you guys every week. Also, hit the bell. The best way for you to know exactly when my videos come out is to hit that bell. It's down in like the corner. That way you know exactly when it's happening. That way you can stay up to date immediately. Cool? Onward to the content. Listen, today we're talking about grinders. We're gonna start with what kind of grinders you need to get. I'm gonna lay out three different options for you. You can do your own research on this, but here's what I found that looked good thus far. First thing you need to know about this is that grinders dictate the canvas that you're working with to make your coffee. So you probably have at home like a blade grinder. The Mr. Coffee blade grinder looks like this. And if you're using that, stop. Stop what you're doing. There's a better option. That needs to stop. And I'll tell you why. This picture is the difference between what coffee looks like in a blade grinder and what's called a burr grinder. It's completely different. Look at the picture again. Bing, bing. You see the difference in the grinds and how some sizes on those are huge and some are really fine. And the other side, they're all even. This is the difference. Burr grinders are made up of teeth. They're called burrs. And what happens is that the coffee goes through those burrs and it measures the size it needs to be in order for the coffee to stay the same consistency throughout. And it just does this back and forth. Now there's two different types of burr grinders. There's a Connell and then there's a flat, uh, the, the flat, whatever you call them. We're all learning together. <laughs> what happens is that when you change the distance on your setting, it basically allows a certain amount to go through that are smaller and larger. And the thing with the blade is it just chops it all up. <laughs> Craziness. So here's your best three options for burr grinders. The first option, which is the cheapest option, is a hand grinder. And it's a great way to wake up and to start feeling like you're being active is by doing the hand grinder. And it's, Prima Coffee has a hand grinder for 33.65. It's right here. And if you wanna order that one, I'd say it's great. My friend Jeff uses it, he swears by it. Every time I see him doing anything with coffee, he's got his little hand grinder. The next option on the board would be what I have. And I bought this, me and my wife bought this together. I, when you're working your finances with another person, you gotta be willing to compromise. So I compromise, it's, a, it's still a really great grinder. It's called the Cuisine Art. It's the Supreme Grind. <coughs> right here, Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill. It's great, it works really well, every day I use it. Um, it's pretty clean, everything works really well on it, pretty consistent. I don't know that it gets down to like an espresso kind of small grind, but it does a job for pour overs, French press, V60s, AeroPress. The last option that I wanna share real quick is a bit more expensive, but I've used them before. They're really great and they're consistent, they last for a long time, and they do the job really well. And that's an Encore. It's listed right here. Again, uh, right here, Encore. Now, as you can see, it's a lot of money. Bruh. But if you're super serious about doing this for a long time and you're wanting to save the money on going out all the time, once the shops open back up, you'll have that option to go out again. The hope is that you're willing to support local businesses, but you also can sustain your finances at home by brewing at home sometimes or most times, whatever you prefer. The main thing you're trying to do is to get rid of an inconsistent cup of coffee and to start experiencing consistent cups every single day so that you can actually map your progress on what you're tasting and how well it's coming out. We all want to enjoy good coffee. Do yourself a favor, get a burr grinder. 
All right, y'all, well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means the world that you're here. Hey, do me a favor one more time. Like and subscribe and hit the bell so you know exactly when I'm releasing content so you can stay up to date on all things coffee, all right? Hey, enjoy your life. Enjoy good coffee. We'll see you next time.